All right, Chris, we all know St. Louis has a rich history, and Tim Azell is sharing some of it with us this morning. Yeah, he is on a tour of St. Louis. Good morning, Tim. Hey, good morning, gang. Yes, we are at Gus's Pretzels. We're celebrating the book, Oldest St. Louis, by Nene Harris. Nene's joining us this morning, and this is a book all about the oldest things in St. Louis. The oldest parks, the oldest institutions, the oldest pretzel bakery, the oldest everything is the things that make St. Louis unique, that make up the fabric of our community and our communal experience. Like everyone has enjoyed a Gus's pretzel at some point. Absolutely, and we've got Gus Kebby joining us here this morning. Come on in, Gus. Yeah, he is. Morning. Since 1920, you're the oldest pretzel bakery in St. Louis. Yeah, yeah, I can feel it. We're 100 years old this year. <laughs> 100 years old, what does, that, what does that mean to you? It's shocking. Yeah. We've survived 100 years. I've had it 40 years with my wife, Suzanne, and my brother, Dave, has worked here. And we've uh, kept it going for 40 years, and hopefully we've got a new addition to the family, so hopefully we'll have another generation after this one. There's a Gus so, the Fourth now. Gus the Fourth came on September 5th, and we're very blessed and happy. So, you were talking earlier. What is, what's the secret to longevity? Just producing a good product and being fair with people. We back our product up. So just being, really, it's just being nice to people. And there you go. Treating them with respect. You know. Awesome. Awesome. The book is called Oldest St. Louis by Nene Harris. Uh, Hammond's Books, Cherokee Street, 2 to 4 on Saturday. We'll have a book signing. Nene will be signing the book. Some great stories in here. We're on a tour all morning long. We're guesses now. We're going to go hit some other oldest spots in St. Louis all morning long right here on Fox 2 News in the morning. All right.